Hello everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I thought I'd do a little video for you. I have to keep it a little bit quieter because uh, everybody's in bed. It is currently as I'm filming, it is just gone 12 o'clock. So excuse me and the PJs and everything, but I just had the urge to make this video and I really wanted to make this video. So I collect a lot of um, records. I've been collecting records properly since 2014 and I have loads like I've got shelves full I've got under the record player um, cases in there and everything so yeah I wanted to kind of start going through it so this will definitely be different parts it will not be a whole video because it will take way too long um, and they're records by the way I keep seeing so many videos of people going they're vinyls vinyl is what a record is made out of record is what it is so just want to clear that up um so yeah i do love collecting them and i definitely prefer the sound of them because to me the sound of them um i don't know it just sounds so much better it has more of an authentic sound to them and i think the caring process of them as well because i collect cassettes and everything and i think you know the care of them and looking after them is an enjoyable part to it as well uh, I will do a video in the future as well, I don't know when, but I will definitely do a video in the future of um, a tour of my record player and the hi-fi system and everything. So, without further ado, I am now going to uh, get into what I have. So, I've literally just brought them down, so this section, this first part, is going to be reissues and any new released albums or newish release albums that I've got recently um, so reissues obviously if you started out collecting vinyl or you just not you don't get to you're not, you're not sure what that is a reissue is um, I mean to be honest it's in CDs and everything as well but basically you know if you're not familiar with it a reissue is a um, an old album for example that's been re-released and repressed on a record um, and it's a brand new version of it. So without further ado, without me keep babbling on, I'm going to get into it. So like I said, I've literally just blocked them down. So I've got a case full of one, and then I've got ones that are laid out. So I'm just going to start with those, and we'll go to this case here. So the first one I've got is the... God, the wind lights really reflecting off it. DJ Spoonie Garage Classical. Uh, there's a lot of tunes on this. If anyone was, I mean, I was born in 1997, so I am quite fortunate in that I do remember some of the garage, the old school garage back in the day music, and some of it was so wicked, I have to say. Um, and I've, I've been definitely delving back into it most recently because I do have Spotify as well, so when I'm on the bus or whatever, or when I was at work, uh, I definitely was looking, like listening to those going back and really because I never. When I was younger, I mean, we was very late on getting the internet every, and everything, so I never really had the chance to expose myself to that sort of music. So I've been able to kind of go back and really dive back into it. And the reason that I did get this was, let's be honest, the original Sugar Babes being back together, singing Flowers, I mean, that was amazing. And they just sounded brilliant. And I've always been a fan of them for a very, very long time. And the fact that it's the original Sugar Babes as well was something... So that's the first one. I'm just going to put that down there. The second one that I've got, I've got three albums of theirs, is uh, Tame Impala. Do you want to say that? This is their, I believe, the, the most recent album, actually. This is uh, The Slow Rush. Um, quite a good few songs on it. I've not really listened to it properly. Um, but there's some songs that I really do like and I definitely like their sound and you can really tell how they've changed over the years so I keep looking at because I'm using my phone to record because it's better quality and the sound's better I'm looking at the screen when really it's just looking at the camera sorry about that um, that's me babbling on again and you know you definitely can tell their evolution of their sound change which is absolutely brilliant so that's that one, and then obviously, like I said, I've got the other ones, so Tame Parlour again, and this is Currents. Uh, I liked how they stuck to the, um, for most of their albums, they stuck to this kind of simple 
the font is the same and the same place but different images that they've used and stuff uh, and I really like that that they did that it looks really cool and there was an artist that will remain nameless that decided to uh sorry there was an artist that room I'll remain nameless that copied them for that and I didn't really like that they did that but uh, in, there you go so the next one again is the Tame Parlour and this is their early album this is Inner Speaker this is 2012 there's a lot of songs that I love on this. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was, but I really, really liked. Um, it's in my Spotify playlist. And I was like, I just want to get on vinyl. And it sounds so much better on vinyl. And they do have that really psychedelic sound. Like this album especially has that psychedelic, brilliant sound. Like the psychedelic I'm talking back in the day, in the, like, the late 60s and 70s, you know, like the small faces and stuff like that that sort of sound and I just really love that sound. So the next one I've got is oh Pete Tong with the uh the Heritage Orchestra and this one's Classic House and this is the reason I actually picked this one up was because I liked his take on when he did Lola's theme and then I found out that they did he did the song Good Life which originally Good Life back in I think it was eighty eight or eighty nine which I do have somewhere on single and album. Um, was done by Inner City and they just did a really good job of that song and it has KTV on it um, and also I like the song Where Love Lives I think that's a great night, it's classic so that's why I picked that one up and then it's not in order this one but this is his I think most recent album of this, he has released things since but not a lot, this is the most recent album in this sort of collection range and this was the one I mean I didn't even know that it was an album at first on Spotify I just had the song go crazy because I was quite a, I'd quite liked how disco it sounded um, but then when I found it I'd show, me, I'd show me love on it and the version of it is brilliant so um, and this was chilled classics as well so that one's really really good and then the next one we've got is another Pete Tong one uh, and this one is with the Heritage Orchestra and this is the Ibiza Classics and this has some good songs like Body Language I know it isn't actually called that um, oh what's it bloody called now can't remember off the top of my head fuzzy moment um, you know na na hey don't I like you know me like you know me that one let's hope I don't get the money for that uh, try that to work yeah and it has some of the songs like Sing It Back, You Don't Know Me, the old classics there, Unfinished Sympathy, so forth. Oh, Outer Space is on there. And I think in the other one, the uh, the piano classic one that he did, that had, um, uh, that wasn't, it wasn't The Prodigy actually. It was uh, that voice link cover right here, right now. And then this was one that was given to me as a gift. Um, basically, with, with who I work, we do this... Uh, we do this secret Santa work, which I guess a lot of people imagine would do, and we give each other's gifts, and this one I just thought was really uh, cute and clever idea, and I really liked it, and you know, it's got the 80s classics on it, you know, like Frankie O's Hollywood, The Bangles, you name it, Five Star, you know, we love a bit of that, don't we? The Jacksons, uh, Can I Feel It? I do like the song uh, I O U Freeze, and I shout to say it, I like that song, it's got a really good, you know, beat to it. And oh, of course, the point is to jump for my love. Come on. Oh, now this one. This is Davy Bowie. So this is a reissue, actually. So I don't know if I've come across any albums that are old or not yet. So this is a reissue. So this is like actually an old album, but this is like I've got a reissue that I think I got from H and B or somewhere. And it has my two favourite songs on here: "Changes" and. Where are you? Life on Mars. Which, to be honest, in a way, when you see Life on Mars, you see the character Ziggy Stardust in a video, even though it wasn't a single. But on the album, he wasn't Ziggy Stardust yet. Or I don't think... It, was he after? I don't know. It might have been before. Um, but that's quite interesting, and it's a great album to listen to. He was a great artist, and so creative, and one that will be missed um, dearly, I think, you know, he, he's just one of them, there'll be no one like him, ever, no one like him, and, you know, it's very sad that he isn't with us anymore, 
So yeah. And the next one I've got, I should get a sleeve for this. So yeah, if you ever do collect vinyl, my advice is you can get them offline, cheap in a big pack, get these plastic sleeves to protect them. Um, and if they don't have, if you get second hand records and they don't have inner sleeves, again, you can go online and get like a huge pack of inner sleeves. And that's what an inner sleeve is where the record sits in. My advice do that because you want to look after them as much as you can, especially the second hand as well, because obviously they're a lot older, you want to keep take care of them. Uh, and also, I think I should tell you about storage actually. I'll tell you after this record. So, this is Panic at the Disco, uh, and the reason this is Death of is it a Bachelor? Bachelor? Don't quote me on that. But my favourite song off this album is Don't Threaten Me With a Good Time, and when I first heard it, I went, That's very familiar because it has the rift. If anyone knows, they've basically copied the rift off of B-52's Rock Lobster. But their version, the way they used it into that song, it was just so good. And it just kicks into the, you know, I'm not going to sing it because I'll get copyrighted probably. So we don't want that, do we? So yeah, the storage you records. Please. I understand if you're a new record collector and you're learning and that's fine. But please do not. I repeat, do not lie your records down flat on the floor and stack them on top of each other because you will warp them and they will be very unplayable the last thing you want to do is warp them or they will get damaged seriously so either stack them up against each other or get cases like I've, I've shown this bloody hell it's heavy I've shown this case in my um, if you've seen the mini haul video this is the case that I bought them when we went to Leamington Spa um, get ones like that, you can get them, I mean that, that cost me a tenner or you can get the ones offline, the big metal ones, you, can, you know, you've seen them um, they, I think, cost a little bit more um, but if you can do, or you know, if you've got shelves, or the Ikea shelves are square cube shelves, them are perfect, but do not lie them on top of each other and with records they need care and attention, don't just um, think that, you know it sounds bad because CDs, in a way, yes, you're supposed to look after them, but I think the CDs, they were a bit more of a... Some people may disagree with me on this, but they're, they're a bit more of a disposable product. You know, I've had CDs that I never used to look after, and they scratched the buggery, but they're still going strong, but I was a kid there when I had them. A bit sad about that, actually, because I saw my Sophie Ellis Baxter collection, which will be one video I think I should do. Um, and I'm, again, she's my favourite singer of all time. Her and then the Sugar Bags, of course. Right then... So, oh, the first one. Renee Zellweger's uh, soundtrack of Judy when she did Judy. If you've not seen this film, oh my god, get it, watch it. It's so amazing. She's brilliant. I mean, she, when I watched it, it was like she was Judy Garland. It was unbelievable. And I'm definitely next year, like when I reacted to the trailer of Je Jennifer Hudson doing a read, that I'm going to watch it because already I'm just. That's the thing for me, like, I'm sidetracking up. I think with anything with music or films, if it doesn't hook me within the first few seconds, I'm not really interested. It has to grab me. It sounds really bad, but then sometimes I revisit things and it can be completely different. So, right, and then I'm going to do this now because I don't really want to take them all out and have to put them all back. So the next one is Lenny Kravitz, Raise Vibration. My favourite song off this album and I heard it was when he was in, being interviewed god I think it was like two years ago when this came out now and he was being interviewed on the one show and he he didn't perform that song at the end he performed um five more days to summer which eh, I'm okay with but it's not my favorite song but they when he was being interviewed they were playing low in the background and it just had that such such a funk riff to it and it just grabbed me and I was like I've got to hear this and I was listening to it for ages on Spotify and then one day I went to HMV which was in Sully Hull at the time no longer there now um, and I just bought the album because I was like why not and it did cost me 26 dollars no, but that's the thing with a lot of, with HMV as well with a lot of the new vinyls or issues they will charge more so that is something to be considerate of if you are considering collecting vinyls some people that's not expensive but with my, not that I've been collecting vinyl for a very long time, but within the six years that I've probably been collecting vinyl with what I've learned, is there's a lot of vinyl out there that aren't worth what HMV are trying to charge. Um, and 
you know, but it's one of them if, if you're, you know, wanting to do that, then by all means, you got to be aware of it. Also, I want to show this off. I mean, first of all, being a sleeve, amazing, but also anyone that's a vinyl, vinyl record collector will get excited about when it's either like a clear vinyl like this or, you know, coloured vinyl, which the other one is. Um, let's keep it on top 15 minutes already. I'm not even halfway through. Come on then. Uh, this one, that is beautiful, isn't it? I mean, look at that, that tropical. I think it's where he lives. Lenny Crop is where he actually lives. Uh, it's just beautiful. This is so dusty, but see on my phone, it's bringing up more of like a pinkish colour, like a rose pink, I think. It's more of a purple colour in person. I don't know how it would look when I edit it and put it up, but you know. But you know, coloured vinyl is so beautiful. I mean, it is so beautiful, which brings me on to the next one. So, I don't have all of these albums in here because the one album is actually an original whereas these aren't dead or alive this is the nude album um i wanted his other albums or i should say their albums because i just don't get me wrong everybody loves a bit of spin me round now and again and i do like that song but i think it's such an overplayed song even he said himself that he that was one song that kind of did his head in the end because you know it's what you end up being known for whereas they did such brilliant stuff after I wanted one of these other albums actually, I think it's Fan the Flame Part 1, I think, which is, you know, amazing. I'm not going to get all of the records out, look at that, that's like a tie-dye that is on a record, and I, at the moment, I'm obsessed with tie-dye, I love the tie-dye pattern. I have jackets, I have t-shirts that are tie-dye, I'm just, I live for it, and I just think it's such a beautiful pattern, and I just think that's such a beautiful colour as well. Um, I don't own many colour vinyls actually, at least I don't think so, it's one of them, it's like you cut that many vinyls that you actually really get, honestly you forget sometimes what you have and you get that excited when you come across things, you go oh my god I forgot I have that. So this is probably going to be a long video so I should have stayed there at the start actually, you know, get comfortable, get a drink, hopefully I can edit it a bit so it's, it's not too massive so. The problem is with me though is I do, I'll, I'll do ramble on, I shouldn't. Right, the next one again is Dead or Alive's Mad, Bad, Dangerous, you know, or and Dangerous, you know. I love something in my house on this album, it's just such like a, it's, it should be played at Halloween. I really think it should, and it's such a good song. And they did that with Stock Hagen and Waterman, and I do like some Stock Hagen and Waterman stuff. Um, but not all. What's this one then? Oh, see this one, I think it's more like, I'll bring it close so you can see it looks more like a marble effect and um, it's the ring lights reflecting it you can see my phone that's quite funny actually <laughs> that's more like a marble effect and that's quite beautiful and I love a bit of marble as well oh if I could happen by when I get my own place I definitely would do marble that will happen at some point but we've got to get through all this first haven't we and then we'll make decisions because it's not the right time at the moment really bad I'm trying to save money and I still spend. Do you do that? Comment down below if you do that. Honestly. Oh my god. And this is only one case. This is what I'm saying. This is what's going to have to be part because otherwise it would literally be like three hours, probably more than that, of a video. And I think it'd be quite nice to do different parts because then it doesn't make it boring. So this one, I actually love this album. This is and I mentioned this in the mini haul because I've got the cassette tape now um, and I couldn't see what it was but this is the album Dead Royal Sophisticated Boom Boom I think they did brilliant stuff and this is before Spin Me Around this is before they joined Stock Egg and Waterman um, is this a colour vinyl as well I believe it possibly could be yes it is and I think oh, look at that how, how beautiful was that the way that just reflected as well it's just beautiful um yeah this is, i mean you can even see it's not even stock out one record i don't think this is epic um and yeah i i actually prefer i think i prefer this album over a lot of the other ones because it just seems so more to me it just seems so more creative and everything was so different on the album when you listen to every song it's different and it's like pete burns said in one of his interviews you know 
the, the mistakes in the songs are visibly there, but I actually think, usually I don't like that, but I actually think that makes it more real and that makes it more creative in a way because it's kind of like saying, well, you know, this is what is. Um, you know, deal with it basically. So this next one I, I got, I got because I've listened to it before, and I just think oh, there's something for me about orchest orchestras meeting dance music that the, the combination's amazing. I think it makes the song sound better. So this is A to Sympathy, and this has got um, Symphony. Sorry, Symphony, apologies. And it's got stuff like David Bowie, Let's Dance, which wasn't one of my favourite songs. It's a very overplayed song of his, and there were so many others that I liked, but if you like it, that's fine. A heart take on me, simple minds, I love kicking and so forth. Um, again, it was a, just a great, great album, and that's why I picked it. Honestly, you meet my record collection, it's mad, it's it's such a different combination. So, this next one I've got, I think she is so gorgeous, and I think she doesn't. I want to slap her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but this is Dua Lipa and this is her first solo album and I love her and obviously Lou Rules, you know, who wouldn't, but there's many other songs on there that I like as well. Um, and yeah, she just, she's gorgeous isn't she, I mean, look at her. And then, Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa, One Kiss, because that's a great track. I wanted, you know, the blue cover. Where it's just the writing. I wanted that one because that was so retro looking to me. And I couldn't find that one. This was the one that I could find in HMV. So, I don't know. But it's 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 two sides. It's got one kiss. Um, on the first side. And then on the second side is one kiss and extended mix. Which basically just builds up at the start a bit longer. We should do like a cheeky extended mix sometimes. It doesn't. Oh, the next one. I keep seeing the top of the titles. So this next one, I love her. Some of her new material, not the newest album, but this album. You know, it's just brilliant. So Shaka Khan with Hello Happiness, and it's absolutely brilliant. This is a coloured vinyl actually, but I'm not going to get it out because this sleeve is a pain in the backside. It's so tight. I hate it so much. <laughs> right, what's the next one? Now this is a surprise one, isn't it? Oh, Daft Punk. Um, I do love the song One More Time. And Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. You know, something about us. Love that song. And this is a gatefold as well, which, you know, if you're a small record collector, a gatefold means it's just extended. I've probably got them out the wrong way. I don't know. But it's just like, a, it's basically you open it up and it's got artwork. It's like, I think that's the other beautiful thing about vinyl, the artwork. Uh, on albums because it's such it's bigger so it just you know you just I don't appreciate it more I suppose let's have a look at this next one The Prodigy Experience now this is the early stuff so this is like Your Love Out of Space Charlie which I love that song I've got these singles now actually I had Charlie the single on 12 inch and that's rare to get hold of and Out of Space is rare to get hold of I have that now on 12 inch so I'll do that in another video and again, this is a gate fold, and um, amazing, mate. Oh, how amazing is that? Can you see it? Look at that artwork. That's them, all of them. And another one where it's sad, really, because obviously we haven't got you know him anymore in the group. You know he's not with us no more. And again, yeah, he, I mean he he was suffering, wasn't he? And I just yeah, it's still it's, it's not nice, is it? So the next one I've got is Prince, and this is, oh, Record Store of the Day. That's not a sticker, I didn't see that before. <laughs> and obviously this has got the song 1999 on it. People, I don't know if people would recognise this cover as much. They would recognise the one where it's just Prince, 1999 on it. This is a bit of a different cover. Again, he's another one that isn't with us anymore, but I, I think he's a pure talent, and he did some great stuff, and he reinvented himself so many times, and... Again, I don't think we'll get anyone like him ever again. Um, and I love, I haven't got the album actually, but I definitely love his original. Hopefully a lot of people know this, but he was the original one for uh, Nothing Compares to You. Not Sinead O'Connor. Uh, and I like his version. I think he did a brilliant version of it. 
The next one is um, Prince, and um, what's the album called? Well, Prince and the Revolutions, because that's what the was. I can't even bl bloody say what that says. Don't you just hide you when they use fonts and y'all can't understand that. Around the World, I think that says. It's, yeah. And my favourite song off this album is uh, Raspberry Beret. I've had to cut the sleeve a little bit, so last sleeve with that because I think it opens like a well, full on kite fold, but that's it's got like a little lip on it. But it's a beautiful album cover. The art again, the art well, back then you don't really see it as much anymore, and that's the sad thing. But anyway, right, where are we? Oh, how are we doing? 25 minutes in already. It's because I baffle on, isn't it? <laughs> So the next one is Prince again and The Revolution and this uh, reason I picked this album because I love the song Kiss. A lot of people would find it a really cheesy song but I think it's a wicked song. So that's why I got that album. Uh, so that's him sorted. I don't know, let me just pop this back in. Um, the B-52s, we were talking about them earlier. So this is the album. I actually bought my dad the original album it's very rare to I find for his birthday and then I seen it this on holiday and I was like well I don't want to have any issues it's never bothered me so I got it um but this has um like lobster which is what um Panic at the Disco used for Don't Threaten with a Good Time or the the rift of it uh again it sounds brilliant and I love that song when I played it basically it's funny because I played that other song to my friend and then I played this one and she went, oh, that's confusing. Well, we've already played this ago. No, we haven't. We haven't, not yet. <laughs> and then she realised. So the next one is the B-52s again. Again, another bold cover. And this is Wild Planet. So this is after. Um, Dirty Back Road was a good song. Running Around. Um, many, many good songs. Uh, another one where they were quite different for their time. I did whatever they wanted, which is quite nice. And the next album I've got, Rob Zombie. Uh, love some of the songs of this, like Super Beast. Uh, was it Dragon and the next one? I think I liked as well. Quite a few songs, but uh, brilliant cover. Um, Halloween, good idea. Um, but yeah, no, it's a brilliant, a brilliant album. Again, I got my dad that album for Christmas as well, but his was a picture disc, which a picture disc is like artwork on the actual record itself. Um, and it was the, basically this on the actual record itself. So that's that one. The only thing is, when you take records out, you've got to find it again. That's why it's taking so long. <laughs> oh, there we go. Aretha Franklin, a brand new me, and it's the Aretha Franklin with the Royal Air. Uh, for having orchestra. When was this done? So this was because didn't she? When did Aretha Franklin die? Now was it twenty sixteen as well? Or was it after twenty eighteen? Should know this because I'm a really good fan of Aretha Franklin. Anyway, this was done with an orchestra. They basically re-recorded her songs. I don't know whether off the top of my head at the moment. I do not know whether they made this after she passed on or whether it was before, um, but it's brilliant anyway. And if you listen to the version of Respect on this album, amazing. The only thing that annoys about the vinyl, because there's a lot more of a track list on the Spike Vinyl CD, I believe, and they missed out a song because the vinyl you can only get a certain amount of songs on now. Um, and they missed out um, <sighs> Until You Come Back to Me. And that is one of my favourite songs of hers. And I was really upset when, well, not upset, but I was really like sad when they, uh, when it went on there. So that was that was a bit annoying. So the next one I have is Aretha Franklin, greatest hits. So this has a load of songs from a load of her albums. Um, who doesn't love a bit of chain, you know, Chain of Fools? Which I'm surprised on that album they didn't do Chain of Fools on it. They didn't. So I was a bit surprised by that. Uh, there's loads on here um, she was just again she's another artist that she was just one of a kind uh, we will never get anybody like her again she was just absolutely unbelievable and amazing 
and that voice. I mean, you know when she sings, it's her. And I don't know about you, I've said this in the trailer, in the reaction to the trailer with her, there's something about her music that just moves me and gets me going because I don't know how to describe it, but it sounds really over the top and cheesy to say, but there's just something about her music that just, I start vibrating in my body and I have to get up and move because she just transports me and I think, I think that's something she did to everybody and I think that's why she made such an impact on a lot of people, even new generations like myself and younger, you know, she's just amazing so I've got I think I've got I've got any other albums of hers I don't know I hope I do the next one I've got is and this is, was hard to find actually Madonna Erotica uh, to be honest I only really <laughs> sounds really bad I only really like one song and that was uh, Deeper and Deeper because it's such a disco classic song this is when she kind of went really different, didn't she, in the 90s. But this is the other thing as well. I mean, I can't remember how much I paid for this now. I can't. Yeah, I can't remember. But it was not as much as I'd seen it in another shop. And it was second hand. And I think, to be fair, if it was an original, I understand. Because I think these didn't sell as much, but I could be wrong. Um, and yeah, it was just one of them. It was like... I weren't prepared to pay the price that they were charging for one song. So I waited and then I seen it. As you can see, it was from Sainsbury's. Um, and can we just appreciate crisp white vinyl, beautiful. And I love the sleeve as well. The sleeves are white with silver with a name on and I just love that. I absolutely love that. And that is a two vinyl thing. Actually, I think, is the other sleeve gold? Yeah, the other sleeve's gold. So they've done that one gold, so it's the right nudge on the record, it's not there, so, not, so the record's the same. But that's gold, so that's nice. So this is gonna be a jump cut in somewhere in the video, but I've missed one out. Sometimes that happens when you go through Madonna. Uh, this is her first album with Lucky Star, Borderline, and Holiday, which I love, and their physical attraction, and another favourite song of the album of mine is Everybody, that's such a, a banger, that is. Um, another great album, so yeah. This is kind of the only thing, because I do love collecting vinyl and everything like this, and I, I did make a video, this is before I got verified on YouTube, so I couldn't upload it because it was too long, but it was such a long video, and I think that's what puts me off slightly going through the collection, because it is long-winded in a sense and this is only like I said the reissue so there's only a pole there and the case that's full so you know so this is another one that I believe I got from what was on we was on holiday down I think was it when we stopped I think it was when we stopped at viewed um and we went to I can't remember we traveled somewhere and there was a trigo mills and it weren't a massive one so shout out to the trigo mills because sometimes you find some things in Trigon Mills when it comes to records. Um, I don't know what that said then. Um, and this is Daft Punk Alive in 1997. The year that I was born. I was born then. I haven't actually, I'm not going to lie, I haven't listened to it. The will, it's so weird, there will come a time where I'll randomly I probably will pick it up and just listen to it. Sometimes I do that with albums. You know, I won't listen to it for ages and then I'll come back to it. Because I'm just silly like that. Right, the next one is... You better be paper on there. Yeah, you are. I was worried then. I thought it was Damage Sleeve. Uh, basically, Ram, the album. Ram, random Access Memories. I love Get Lucky and Lose Yourself to Dance because Niall Rogers was part of this album with Sheik and with Daft Punk. So Niall Rogers was originally from the band Chic back in the 70s and they did the hit singles like Le Freak, Good Times, Everybody Dance, um, oh so many, I Want You Love, all of them and I just thought he really put that essence on this, on these songs, I've not really listened to the rest of the album but yeah, so just a, I think it's a plain, plain black vinyl, I don't, I don't think, is it, what was Columbia Records, there you go. Yeah, it's plain black vinyl. Um, 
So yeah, like I said, brilliant, brilliant album. I don't care if it came out in 2000 and whenever it did, I think it's 13. It's timeless. I think my phone is having a hissy fit earlier going, this is maximum memory, so we'll just see what has bloody recorded. And if I have to re-record some of it again, I will. So the next album is, I don't know if, uh, this isn't their newest release, this is a little bit older now, but Disclosure, I like some of that, you know, my favourite song of theirs has to be F For You, but the one we Mary J Blige on, I love that song so much, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, her voice on that is everything, it just added to that more, that's I like that song I always listen to, and Latch as well with Sam Smith, that was good. Uh, this has got the song, they're a bit slow these songs, some of them anyway, apart from Funky Sensation, but Moonlight and uh, White Angels, their, uh, Fear to Tread, they're a bit slower. Um, and it's just a very different style of album, it's quite good actually. Check in some black vinyl, because I thought well, if it was a coloured one I'd show it, I didn't want to start getting everything out just to and show it off. Oh yes, so the next one I've got is, and I've been looking for this album actually for ages and it's been so hard to find, Donna Summer, I don't know if you can say that, and I think it's it's all systems to go and it has my favourite song, uh, Dinner with Gershwin, love that song, it's such an 80s classic, and she just looks fabulous there, I've got the later album as well, I've got many albums of hers actually, but I've got the later one after this with uh, this time, you know, it's for real, and then I've got like uh, earlier albums with I feel love on and everything like that but that's in another video that's not for this so the next record I've got is Nine Inch Nails pretty pretty, pretty hate machine um, and the reason I picked this one up is because it has a song Head Like a Hole which I love that song where I actually heard this song from or a cover of it was I don't know if anyone's watched it um, I assume some people have uh, Black Mirror um, with Miley Cyrus in that episode where she did Ashley O and she did the like when she was being the pop alter ego she did like a pop version of it and then if you wait until the end of the episode uh, she did the actual full on cover of the, that song and then I, I, when I found out that it was a cover and then I listened to the original I was like wow so I had to get that that was, that was a must that was a must and the last one is that the last one now? Yep, the last one is Royal Blood. Uh, they did some good stuff. I want to get more of their albums, actually. Uh, brilliant. Again, and I think they're a talent that is only the drummer and the bass player, but can still make the sound of a drummer, a bass player, and a guitarist. I think that's brilliant. But then it's the pedals, isn't it? With uh, what you plug into your bass guitars and guitars and so forth to create more of a sound with it. And I think that's really brilliant with theirs, so... I don't think that's a coloured vinyl either. I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't have many uh, coloured vinyls. But maybe I'll make a video on the coloured vinyls uh, and go from there. So, yeah, that is all of the collection. It's taken 38 minutes <laughs> to go through all. And, and this is why it's going to have to be in parts because it is literally going to take too long to film all of it in, in, in one video so and I think it would just be nice to do what I think I might do as well is when I start doing when I'll put this one up and when I do another one and another one that I'll create a playlist to put them in so if you want to check them out or if you're just interested in those videos it'll be in a playlist hopefully in the future I don't know how it's going to go and like I said in the future I'll do a uh, record player and a hi-fi system tour uh, and sort of advice on what sort of turntables you should get or what, what I would advise you to get um, and what you know and maybe I'll go through the history of the turntable, turntables I've had in, in my time I've not had many, I've had three in total but that's a whole other video, I can't keep rattling on here so yes, I hope you enjoyed if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel uh, hit that notification button so you stay uh, in tune with what's going on with my videos so you don't miss one and uh, leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next as well and we will work it out whatever way I can so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it bit of a long video next to it. have a good evening
or so my early hours in the morning. Um, and yes, I'll see you in the next one. So, see you all.